Okay, let's go. Yeah. Oh, Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. She said, "Come on in." Exactly what they say. Come in, guys. No, don't close the door. Thank you. Can we bring some chairs? Um, but yeah, I mean, well, I, I don't so. need one. I do. Um, also, I can't. Yeah, sure, you see, Gay. We're really mm -hmm. concerned mm -hmm. about all the drug dealing okay. and drug use that's going on in this building. Do you I'm have I'm probably the elder one of the group, so I'm Well, I brought you down. Yeah, that thing the other day. You mean she me? brought you. She brought you a, a spoon and crap that she found the other day. Okay. Yeah, I did. I no, I brought it. I think to Sally. Oh, to Sally. To Sally. And I put it right over there. Was a box over there. And well. Sally. Okay. So while you it brought was me with a me. month ago, weed is legal. Yeah. Okay. So they they didn't but, smoke it in the building. Just so you know. And they got. How do you know that? Because I look at the cameras. They tried to put it in their pocket when they were walking, and then they just mis, mis, okay, misplaced it. Weed is legal. So okay. they smoke it outside, and then it's not just him smoking, he smokes it too. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I quit months ago. Okay, Excuse me. You did smoke no, no, it. let's not talk about oh, did. Let's, voice, let's talk about present. Okay. I don't smoke the stuff. Exactly, but you used to. So no, we, we don't need to talk about what used to. We need to talk about the present. I don't Thank smoke this stuff. Okay. 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 All right. Just we have bring two apartments. Bring the down. proof is the door opened in two apartments. Mm -hmm. The drug smoke came out. Okay? You know, you and that's next door to me. I just went to the fourth floor. I can't speak with all of you. I guess all right. Okay. Next door to me. I'm talking. I just went Letter to the finish. fourth floor. I, don't, I smell cigarettes. I do. I went with her. I went with her. I went with Sally. Okay, well, well maybe Hannah. right this moment. We're talking about last in, night. If you want to come in at, at 12 midnight, they're smoking. Call the and cops. The cops would be the ones. We have tried. 911. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, do wait. Anything. You guys are aware of who's smoking. You have already given them notices. Mm -hmm. You know they're doing it. You need to act The problem is the enforcement them? of the drug free, smoke free, crime free addendum that um, since you already alerted these people that they're in violation mm -hmm. and they continue to poison us, you have no idea what it's like to breathe in that stuff. And it takes hours weeks. to get over it. Mm -hmm. You breathe it in overnight when you sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night, Saturday night, coughing. Okay? Wake up with a headache the next day in the morning. It takes about four hours, five hours, sometimes two days to get over what they're smoking. It's not weed. It's not, weed it's not, it's not cigarettes. cigarettes. I can't take it anymore. I told you that for months. I, how would you like to breathe in somebody else's poison in your condition and have your uh, possible newborn exposed from you ex in inhaling somebody's secondhand drugs. Now, the only way that you're going to understand is if you're feeling high off of it, your head's pounding, your ears are ringing, your eyes are burning, and then it takes hours to get over it. That's how you feel as well? I wake up in the morning with a headache. Okay. okay. My apartment stinks right now because all of the odor that gets sucked into my apartment mm -hmm. from the hallway. Mm -hmm. I can't open my odor. window. I can't open my windows. It comes right in the window. What's going to happen when summer comes and you know the building heats up because there's no air conditioning in the units mm -hmm. and my unit is over 80 degrees once the weather start uh, getting hot. And if I have to open my window and drug smoke is coming in my window, I, I feel like a prisoner up there. I got to keep my windows closed all the time. Um, I would like to request that maintenance put some weather stripping on my door and on the bottom of my door to help prevent that stuff coming in 
and I also uh, gave an option. Okay, I also gave an option. We have identified drug addicts. I gave you an option of a solution that needs to be spoken to by case management. These people do not have to go homeless in the street. It's a one year Christian based program, yes. free, free food, free housing, and they'll even put them in transitional housing when they complete the program. So these people won't go homeless in the street. They'll get the treatment they need, they'll be housed, and then they'll graduate and get into transitional housing and then get their life together. In the meantime, keeping them here is preventing low income seniors who desperately need to be housed from occupying units that they're in violation. So the bottom line is, if they can't go to treatment, they got to go. They're violating the drug free, smoke free, that's crime we're free asking, addendum. We're asking you to uphold. No, that's what he's asking. Yeah, well, that's what we're asking you to do. Uphold mm -hmm. the 10 day notices. You've got to get tough with these people or everybody's just going to keep blowing it off. Okay. I can't breathe and, the poison in every day, well, ma'am. I can't. Hazard. It's I in the contract. That, we have to have proof more than just the stipulation that it smells like it because I have to go to a court and says that I, I don't smell it. At the time that you came down and told me and then I went right away and I went with Sally, it was Sally? It was, it Sally, was Sally, yeah. and it hurt. We didn't smell it. It's, I smell the same thing that I smell now. Cigarettes and then the strong chemical use of some kind of like, I don't know how to call it, like shampoo from carpet cleaner. For we me, we got. I, it. I we, don't know how you know how you smell those smells. I have never smelled it. Um, she knows how to smell because she has worked on other properties that I have many well, years. Come by on, at midnight. Come how, by at how midnight. How do you know how to smell? That's what I'm wondering. Because I'm out. I'm coming from no. one apartment to my apartment, and well, I'm wondering how, how do you know specifically that, that it is fentanyl. That it's fentanyl. I don't know that. That's I'm what you look. That's, 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 that's what it is. I'm no, identifying no. that. I'm getting high off this stuff. I don't get high. I go to the gym twice a day training. I got a shoot coming up. I don't need my eyes burning and puffed. I got an important event coming up. Mm -hmm. I've been under the influence of this stuff without my permission, breathing it in secondhand. Come on, I'm not going to live organic and then have somebody next door and down the hall keep poisoning me. I don't want it in my body no more. I don't want the headaches. I don't want my eyes burning. I, I don't want I'm to be staggering in my apartment. I'm not living in my no, of tonight. course you're not. Okay. But the but point is, like, these people, no matter what it is that they're smoking, mm -hmm. they're smoking mm -hmm. in their units. Mm -hmm. It's stinking up the place, and it's a fire hazard. So I, I, I no, and I get it. I, out of all the units that he has mentioned, None of those units smells like it. I've been to those units more than once. It's another unit that I smell like. So he's way off of who it is as well. No, so I'm not can, way off yes, on no, who it is. He's pinpointing wrong people because I've been inside the unit. Just because not. you show up after the fact and they clean up the place and hide if their stuff does not that mean that they're more. using I'm it. One, 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 you one, can't, one, look, one, I've had the firefighters now, here. Excuse me. I've had the firefighters here for me being exposed to the stuff and they confirmed it. I got it in writing. Okay? I'm tired of being poisoned by these people smoking drugs. One of the units that it was there, supposedly it smells like it, but they didn't say fentanyl, they said it's cigarettes. I don't know. Look, they're exposing us to poison. Whatever I don't want it, it in my body no more. Care. I'm not it's lying. Not I don't stop. want it in no me. I'm not saying anyone's lying, but what I am saying is if we can't talk about it with our voices down here, we're not going to talk about it right now. All right, I'll bring it down lower. I apologize. Ma'am, I'm tired of being poisoned by these people. They know what it is. My next door neighbor smokes it. She's been smoking that stuff for months. I even had guests come over 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning and they smoke out. That ain't no little old lady, so what is innocent the, what lady is the living there. the conversation that the police are having with you when they've been contacted? What are, what are they saying? Why aren't they I got out? four police reports that they identified smoke and unidentifiable s smoke substance. I have their police reports. But they so, already did. So, we've, so we're facing charge with legalities. 
We we can't go off hearsay. Okay. So if your neighbor doesn't like you, let's just say I, I, let's tell you. Yeah, we understand that. Hypothetically, a neighbor doesn't care for you and says he's trafficking drugs and <coughs> children through his place. And I want him out. And we make a move and we go, you know what? Yep, let's take him out based on based on the report uh, of a neighbor. Excuse me. Based on report, no, we're not talking hypothetical. We're talking the facts. I'm exposed to the poison. I'm not lying to you guys. I don't want to breathe that I'm stuff in anymore. No, 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 hypothetically. Can you keep it down? If somebody, Learn to listen. If somebody, if if somebody have approaches us with the same story reversed, and we go up and we do the same investigation, find the same results, yet move to evict somebody based on hearsay. Alan, we're not asking you. It ain't hearsay when I get the drugs in my body and it takes me days to get over it. There's, there's guidelines and rules that the lawyers and everybody asks us to follow and that we have to have all our ducks in a row prior to making well, moves. Then, okay, then what do we need to do to put you in a position so that you can address these They're issues? They're calling the cops because I am not, I cannot go to legal. a legal. legal. Call the cops. Look, 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 look. I'm talking. You need to call the cops. I cannot go to a Josh and say, so, first of no, all, something I that I don't you smell. You've got to have proof. It's something I, I don't that. smell. So I don't, I can't say, I can't tell a judge is, and go to court and say, I think no, I, I, I smell understand it. That. I, I understand think my residence, because I, I don't so smell So your it. only recommendation for it's us is to just to bug the shit out of the cop. Yes. Excuse me for a second, please. Good. Excuse me, excuse me. We have documentation from the firefighters that One. I had a reaction from inhalation mm -hmm. of the substance. So we have facts that I am being poisoned. I am coming to you saying I am continually being poisoned and I want it to stop. Now you we already got proof. We already have four police reports that identified that they smelt the substance. I got all four of them. Okay. So we have facts. This is not a hypothetical thing. I'm getting tired of my head pounding, my eyes burning staggering in my apartment high off of that stuff do you have the report of the ambulance or somebody telling you, you have so that can you give saying, her copies you, of that can you give me a copy of that because the only thing i have is just a police saying that the suspect seeker smell from the specific unit and then we tackle that part but we don't have i don't have your report or medical report from a a, a, a medical expert saying that you got Poison or well, I have you to contact the, the firefighters to get it. Okay. Well, yeah. that'll be a good yeah, that'll that'll be be okay. start. But start. the bottom line is this. We're the ones breathing the poison in. All right? Mm -hmm. So it's not one person hypothetically not making not an accusation start. that I don't like this tenant, so I'll fix them. We got three tenants on the same floor breathing in the same filth, and all three of us live at different mm -hmm. units. And we're breathing it in and we're reporting it. Okay. Three so different see, people. Do you smell the same? Yes, med I do. Metal? I texted you. There was one time I texted I you. I don't have the text anymore because now we are landline. Sorry. Okay. What does Sorry. it smell like? It yeah. Was, it was smelled. Smelled. I knew it was marijuana. I knew. I knew it was drugs yeah. that I was smelling at one one twenty in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I texted you, and I said, "Whoa!" I just couldn't believe how bad it was, and mm -hmm. I couldn't. I couldn't sleep the rest of the night. What does it smell like? Like, what do you say drugs, what does it smell yeah, like? It was just something smoky. Something it, wasn't, smoke. it wasn't a fire. Mm -hmm. It wasn't fire or smoke from fire. Mm -hmm. but it was some sort, of, some sort of inhalant that was going on mm -hmm. in the building. I've, yeah. I've wow. smelled smoke He's, when smoke there's smoke. no smoke alarm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm in three. I'm right above um, mm -hmm. Calvin. And I've smelled smoke. When there's no smoke. So yeah, there's you live no in the third floor, right? Yeah, Do, yeah there's an issue yeah. going uh, on in the third floor. I'm 17. Uh -huh. And I'm just here about that I found a little thing and I found some drug paraphernalia. Where did you find that? <laughs> I brought it into this office and somebody else was here. I asked, I thought it was Sally, but it was some light haired lady. Light Jessica? <laughs> Tall? Oh, I Probably. don't know. I just. We, we just agreed that we both should not be touching it, and so I just left it right there. Because it's either me, her, yeah. or Sally, or Jessica. 
Well, when it was wasn't that? that much. It was, it was like in March, but my kids couldn't come. I mean, I had my granddaughters mm -hmm. planning to come, and mm -hmm. I called them up and said, you can't come. I mean, mm -hmm. I did not want... I mean, they're close to the ground. They're five years old. One's mm -hmm. five, one's eight. And then, sorry, this, where, where do you say you found it? In the hallway, right across, right as I was going to the elevator. On I the hallway? I had to nearly walk over it, so I went back, got a, a tissue, and put it around it. And did you happen to get a here. photo of it while it was still on the ground? I did not get a photo. Okay, yeah, it's things like that. We need documentation. See, I should have. Yeah. 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 Seriously. And it's okay. We've just got families over there with children, with children oh, and we've got these people in this building. This they have like no business being close to children. And there's mm -hmm. there's some on the stuff field. going on in this I mean, building, this and it needs to stop. Only in our unit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I've been to the soccer field when the kids are out there, mm -hmm. and that stuff can be found everywhere. I don't think this is the only building. But no, yeah, it yeah. was my it's building, and yeah. it was that day, and I couldn't have my grandchildren over. There. <laughs> so Look, I'm we're we're inhaling the stuff when we sleep overnight. I woke up coughing the other night. Coughing in my apartment. Nobody, I wasn't smoking. I woke up coughing. Uh -huh. It's that bad. Uh, I'm tired of being poisoned. Uh -huh. I mean, that's all I can tell you. Uh -huh. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want the stuff in my body no more. Uh -huh. I'm tired of it. So, at this point, uh -huh. beyond just calling the police uh -huh. repeatedly and getting blown off by them, what would you recommend we do? I I can talk to my legal advice. And okay. Then, and then I can talk to um, my housing and ally um, and see what their plan will be. But at the same time, because when we have people from ally and H I H coming and then they we we all say the same thing. We don't smell what you guys smell. We well, smell the secret. Yeah, but you're you're giving yeah. everybody we, a two day notice. Yeah, so we smelled, no, we, we even when we walked by it, when we, I sneaked the door. So and then during the day, it's not as bad. As exactly. soon so as your office like, closed, the party time, begins. Yeah. Yeah, so that's true. Yeah. And then on the weekend, oh, God, oh my God, yeah. Saturday and Sunday, so it's nonstop. Security or or the police. That's so, what, could we possibly have security? We have security. You had a letter with the yeah, phone number. No, wait, you did need to be in the, building. You, in the building. you, I, I, I can add, talk to a million housing, but can you please? Like, because on call security is just ridiculous. Even Sunday, but Friday and Saturday are the worst. There's another issue going on as well. There's people coming in the building that don't.